Hey guys and girls, it is Cossifier, and I am with Colton. Hello. And welcome to our stream of the Ardoing build. Um, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm not. I'm not actually gonna do a. Um, what I normally do on these streams is um, give you like a rundown of what the area is. But um, obviously it's Ardi, so uh, hopefully everybody knows what this area is. Um, I, there's other backstory and falls, you know. I'd show like um. The tree gnome stronghold and the um, the other places, pretty much like the falls and the fishing guild and all that stuff. But yeah, this is Ardi. Um, I'll just give you sort of like a quick um, yeah. I may as well, I'll just give you a quick rundown of like what we currently have of not uh, not this time of like um, what areas this is. So um, quick example, a yeah, quick example is um, the legends guild, which is to, oh let me put on the trees. We got the legends guild, which is to the north east right in the corner um it's on the outskirts of the area so you won't be able to sort of like um, enter it on the, the rd area but you got the path going up and leading towards it um in the north of like the area again you got the farmlands this is this part's north of, uh, this part's of um well i'm getting tongue-tied this part is part of north Candarin. um again you cannot access it but um, it's on the outskirts so you can easily go up and into it and yeah you just got the tower over here and pretty much so into Ardi we have the east exit over here um let me sh try to get through show the trees there we go um it's just a small fencing area at the moment um this area is just half built because it's part of north Candarin. um so if i was in north Candarin, i could see like the city Ardi, so i know where i was going to run to but um, yeah, there's only half of it, and obviously there's not much detail at all on like around the areas. Um, it's all one texture and stuff. But um, that's why we're streaming, so we're going to be building it. So here we have the marketplace with all the sort of like shops and houses around it. Oh, um, the guy's name begins with a H. It's part uh, well, there's a um, a vine patch. Um, but yeah, it's um, somebody's mansion. You got the mansion here, and um, you got the bank here. You got the guy's name is um, Jericho, I believe. He's got like the pigeons. Then you got the church, and you got R.D. Castle. You got the um, the pub, which I forget its name. Of the green, no, not the green dragon. That's from Lord of the Rings. Um, you just got the all the houses around here, and you got the watchtower. And West R.D. is something we'll be talking about. In a not in a bit, uh, maybe later because it's law related. Um, so in the stream, I'm gonna be mostly building it. Um, what you can't see, uh, what you can't see on the stream is I am in RuneScape, and on RuneScape, I'm looking at um, RD and sort of just replicating the detail. And that's pretty much what we do in Mario RS. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. And our first topic, uh, well, um, one of the topics we want to talk about is microtransactions, which is, um, I'd say, a very uh, sensitive subject, maybe. Definitely with um, the whole ordeal with RuneScape, you could say. And it's there's a video recently, which, um, as, uh, not video, uh, what should we call it, uh, promotion, which they've done. And so Stardust stuff and, you know, you get all this, you pretty much make a lot of money from it just because you're spending a few, I don't know, a few pounds or dollars, whatever you want to use. And the amount of money you make is quite stupid. So um, Colton's just AFK a second, so I'm, I'm going to try drag this on as long as I can. Um, Actually, I'm just going to wait for that. Uh, wait for that topic till Cotton gets back. <laughs> um, so sorry about that. So I'm going to. Um, um, so this was actually a part of. Um, if you probably if you've been on the channel for um, a long time, you might have seen a RD tour. And this was because RD was already built, but there was a situation where my PC broke. I. Um, yeah, I'd say it pretty much just broke, and um, I lost Ardi, and a few areas with it, such as Yanil, and uh, Yanil and the Demonheim area, so um, those places there. 
So um, literally just um, there's a video coming out tomorrow which is going to showcase like all the um, pay to play areas. You know if you if we are if you are looking closely you can see all of them on the side but um, they're just text and you can't exactly see them fully. So tomorrow I'll be showcasing some like all the areas. And Colton welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so I was talking about microtransactions and so like, um, uh, so like how they affect. Well, not how affect. Um, I sort of stopped at that point because you're FK. But um, what I want to talk about is RuneScape's microtransactions, and I think everybody and their mother's been talking about it since um, you know, um, Squid of Fortune came out, but then it changed its name to Treasure Hunter, which I don't. I think the name change was unneeded in my opinion maybe to make it more seem serious because squeal of fortune yeah. sounded more of a joke it did yeah but um so i was talking about um this promotion which they've released um rec um today yesterday or is recently pretty much and you get um you pretty much just get good money from it so it's it's um something which has been well, not some has been on my mind, but um, it's something which has bothered me. I could say, um, do you know? You, well, you know the bonds, right? Um, yeah. You go and spend them real life money on them. Uh, uh, I think they cost like and you can... four quid or whatever for me. Yeah. And you can um sell them for like money, of course. Uh, it's like yep. um. I'm sure that's what lots of people did. Oh yeah. But um. It, their reason for bonds was it was to sort of like um, to stop people buying gold, which seems pretty logical. Maybe I think it was um, it poss uh, possibly is a case of um, uh, let's say let's say you can't so you're a RuneScape uh, an average RuneScape player and um, yeah. You've never ever bought gold from like I don't know illegal gold sites or whatever. Um, I'm not quite sure what you'd call them, um, but it was against the RuneScape rules, of course. So you've never ever done that before. And then they okay. released this update saying, um, "Hey, uh, you can now buy bonds to tackle gold farming and gold selling." But then you start to buy bonds with in real life money and then sell them for gold. It seems to be not really tackling it but sort of like um stealing their money so it's like they became their own gold selling thing you could Jagex pretty did. much say that um but my point was they were trying to make people not buy from um not buy from you know these illegal websites and and then um now with bonds I know bonds have been out for ages, but um, but now with bonds, you know, it's encouraging those people who never even bought gold before to sort of like now buy it because yeah. it's like, it's really um it's really it's accessible. accepted, yeah. yeah. And yeah, I yeah that was a terrible idea. I know there's um. Uh, because I'm maxed on um, RuneScape free, I know there's um, there's been discussion about bonds all the time, and there is actually people who sort of like they they spend about I don't I'm not quite sure how much it is in real life, but they buy like 200 mil worth of bonds like every um, like every month as their source of like money income. And it's like really, it's like why would you sort of like buy bonds and sell them to sort of like make that your money income it's so it's like their reason was they can't pvm so it's like just because you can't pvm why are you so sort of like as good as you can buying scale gold? <laughs> yeah. yeah and yeah there is alternatives to um um alternatives to making gold it's not all about uh, it's not all about pvm it's like there is skilling you can even pvp <laughs> but um the point was um it's it's not really bonds, but um, treasure um, hunter. Wow, with a recent promotion, you know we were just talking about bonds with saying it's trying to tackle gold farming. But with all these promotions coming out, it's like um, 
treasure hunt is like becoming bonds you can pretty much say it's like you would as good as make more money from um, using like treasure hunter than you would so like buying bonds and as well as treasure hunter uh, this is probably mostly just on um, let's say uh, promotions so with bonds you just sort of like getting gold with treasure hunter you're getting possibly more gold and you're getting that bonus xp and the bonus xp is a massive chunk of course so it seems to be treasure hunter in my opinion was just a, sm a fun small gimmick to begin with but now it's like this massive influence on people trying to skill and you know um skills are really devalued uh, devalued i can't even say that word <laughs> and um it's it's not as good as it used to be which is obviously you know um you could obviously say that but over time you know there's like new training methods but then if you're doing these training methods with like bonus xp which is like if you do one lap around a agility course and with, with bonus xp it's like doing the course twice because you're getting uh, the xp we get like 1.5 times um, x bonus, well more XP should I say. And it's, it's you know, you, with Jagex being the company they are, you know, they've been running RuneScape for over, um, 14 years now. It's massive, it's, uh, there's a thread on the high level forums recently about um, how many promotions there are. And there's like a promotion every single week, whereas in the past they've promised to sort of like lower down the promotions. So now there's like one every week. It's like, do they really need this money? <laughs> and it's, you you could probably say, you know, the money's for like the game, but the content isn't what it sort of like used to be. Um, we, we, you know, they're still on Java and apparently this client's been cancelled so many times and delayed it's very hoggy but um yeah. i'd say enough about jagex uh, molio rs it can't have microtransactions but if you would say if um well yeah you're a developer so <laughs> let's say um if you were to introduce microtransactions to molio rs how would you do it um, if it was legal and people didn't hate it, um, uh, well, I, I, I don't a... even know that I would, honestly. I'm not a fan of them. It sort of, it's turns into pay to win. Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Um... But if we were ever to do it, say like if we were forced to do it, for, I don't know, for just um, a theoretical question, I would say mm -hmm. it would mostly be cosmetic rather than, um, you know, you can buy yeah. gold or something. And we could do that now um, and call it, it's like, um, these are uh, for people who um, contributed to servers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, we could legally do that but um we couldn't profit off of it. It, it it would go straight to the servers yep and that i would be okay with so if it because was it's the servers yeah uh, because it's paying f for something that we need but then let's say the servers are paid for but then you're still getting like these donations what would you then do with the money uh charity maybe i, I don't know a charity would actually be good. It would um, make us look good, although hopefully we yeah. already look good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. make us look like we're only sort of like um, doing it for the money, pretty much. Uh, that's a good yeah. way to um, pull it. But um, sort of going on that topic, of course, we um, people have offered to do donations, well, uh, give us donations in the past, and you know, we've got no objection um, with accepting donations but or not but um with the donations we are using it for the server pretty much 
Well, um, wh whatever we get, we use it for the server and just sort of like upgrading it. Because I'd say that's the, um, pretty much our main priority, um, would you say? It's, I, I know you own the server, so do you want to sort of like give a brief, uh, so like, uh, possibly statement on what the server can do in slash, well, say, um, what the server can sort of like withhold or withheld or, you know, withstand, I meant. Um, well, currently, in its current state, when we get it running, it'll do players max. Um, uh, that's not because, um, uh, my internet connection is bad. It's, <laughs> it's because that it's, uh, dual core I Intel. It's got a GTS 8800 and four gigs of DDR2 RAM. So it's definitely um, a hardware issue. Um, the guy that um, is helping us with uh, the server has uh, Core i7 4960Ks, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, um, and so on. So, um, yeah, it's certainly a, a hardware issue. Um, so I think... What I've priced out is each server is about 600 bucks. Um, so if we could get two of them running, we could hold at least 500 people. No problem. I'd say um, 500 people is um, maybe the maximum. <laughs> um, I can't even yeah. see like 20 people playing at the moment. But obviously, um, it's we don't know. You know, we have um, over 1,000 subs. So... We can't say how many people are going to play and all that stuff, so... That's pretty much what I've got to say for yeah. that server bit. Yeah, and there'll be people who play it for like five minutes and say, eh, this is stupid and bad. So, um... Oh, yeah. yeah. You cannot please any, uh, everyone. Yep. Currently what I'm doing is... Um, this rip looks terrible. Um, I'm trying to create the. Um, they're not really farm patches. Um, Jade Vine patch is one on the um, the left here. Right, I can read this guy's name now. Horace, Horatio. It sounds like the Duke of Lumbridge's name. Um, Horatio. Yeah. I wonder if I need to Google the Lum um, Duke of Lumbridge's name. They sound really the same. Duke of yeah, this, um, this mansion is. I did it before. Well, obviously, I did it before. And you can always. Horacio? Yeah. Um, they, who's the guy that. Oh, you're talking about now. H O R A C I O. It's the same name. Oh, really? That's cool. I've never yeah. seen two NPCs with the same name. Um, mm, I guess it happens. Kike says, what's this? Um, we are Mario RS, and we are pretty much replicating RuneScape through another game called Never to Notes 2. As you can see, um, well, this is the Never to Notes 2 toolset where we do the building. Uh, as you can see, we are building RD. And probably the best TLDR I can make is... We're making it to the point where you can do quests and PVM and skill. Um, we we free to play areas are in beta and you can play them if you have Never's Notes too. And you can put a lot of hours into it. You can always check some of my single player gameplays. Um, you know I do a lot of quests, um, a lot of PVMing and skilling. I think the only thing I did most was skilling. But yeah, it was, um, hopefully that answers your question. Yeah. Um, it's it's a topic, well not a topic, it's a um, question that people always bring up and it's, I would say, possibly um, not difficult, but it can get, um, it's the type of questions some people ask are like, um, it's, I think what I need to sort of do is try to understand the sort of like, um, trying to think of it, now my brain's gone all weird, um, Try to understand what 
if people actually understand what the um, project is because most of, most of the time I'm saying stuff like um, you know we're just building areas but then are people thinking oh it's just the areas uh, you know you can't do quests and PVM and all that stuff nope it's quests skills um, NPCs uh, uh, locations um, everything basically plus a little extra since it takes place in year um, 20 of the fifth age um, Kyle Boyne asks sorry if I um, said your, your name, <laughs> last name wrong. won't you guys get sued by Jagex for doing this um, no uh, we've been comp complimented many times by some of them uh, we were emailing Mod Infinity back and forth and he said he would talk to uh, his legal team but it's been like three months since we've heard from him so we can assume safely that we're fine um if they tried to sue us they would have to go through obsidian and then atari and then us yeah. um of course they always could um have a uh like they could say uh stop working on it and we'd have to um so but it hasn't come to that yet which is good yeah bless um, you sneeze and oh um thank you mike for your compliment <laughs> um it's only half built so maybe that pretty nice could be into a awesome nice once rd is fully complete but um what um you were just talking about colin it was sort of like um what we were just talking about with the microtransactions and all that stuff whereas everything's free I'd say um it's um I was actually um talking to somebody well somebody asked this on Facebook um this morning for me and they go you know is um can't you get in trouble for this and all that I was like um no pretty much we are like you know we, we um we're doing this all for free uh we don't charge it, we're pretty much literally just non-profit so and you know like you just said with your contact with Mod Infinity and the J Mods and blah 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 um if we aren't really uh, in my eyes, we aren't really a threat, I would say. Um, yeah. If we were trying to, if, say, if we were um, charging, I don't know, to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a price for something. Uh, let's uh, match RuneScape. So, say, if um, we were charging like uh, $5 a month for people to play Mali RS, then, and let's say the server was up and. Um, we had 50 people playing, so God, five times five. So that would be. Uh, let me do the maths quick. 250 dollars a month. Uh, um, f obviously, for from people playing uh, Money RS, then I would say Jagex would do something about it because you could say that's 250 dollars we're taking from Jagex, maybe. Um, just from the top of my head, doing that quick maths, but, um, you know, we aren't a standalone game, we aren't making any profit, so, and like you said, they haven't responded to our emails, well, they have, but then said they were going to respond, but never, so yeah, I'd say we are under a radar slash a non-threat, which is good, because it would be a shame to ever give up this project. <laughs> We've been working on it for over um, uh, for over six years. Um, there's a game that popped up. I'm not quite sure what you're quite on about, but you can always um, scrub. Yeah, I was gonna say scrub, subscribe. <laughs> uh, you can always <laughs> subscribe to us. Um, you can. Well, there's a link to our channel. Uh, you can obviously just um, um, subscribe to us. You'll see all our live streams, um, our videos. Um, but if we aren't doing like live streaming and videos, you can always like our Facebook, which is there. Um, our Facebook, we generally just post pictures, you know, um, it's a lot of exclusive content. You can talk to us directly, like, um, you can on YouTube, but, you know, there might be a delay on like our responding time because I don't always have YouTube open, whereas I always have Facebook open. And so like watching the, um, Facebook group and all that stuff, but, um, for our Facebook group, we post a lot of, um, trying to think of a name for it, um, exclusive content, so 
Um, I posted the fishing colony picture and I was posting the relica shoreline. So these are areas you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I mentioned um, earlier I'll be posting these videos uh, tomorrow. It's shown just like a... Um, a uh, God, my brain is going everywhere today. Um, one terrible thing about working on the project is I cannot talk and work. So... Uh, if you watched some previous streams in the past, you'll notice the camera or the tool set just staying still because I'm talking for ages. But um, uh, that made me play to defend you guys' video. Um, okay, <laughs> that sounds cool. I thought I think um, YouTube has a new ad system where uh, uh, oh the ads will s circumvent ad block now. Um, oh. and some ads you have to do a actions and stuff to, to like skip them, which I is think, um, cool. I think I've Smart. um played that before. I remember um, I don't know the game's name. I, well, I know the game, but I've got its um like actual name. But um, it's it's like um, it's something defense. You know, there's bombs dropping from the sky, and you got these turrets on the ground. And you know if you sh you gotta shoot the missiles before they reach, but if they hit the sort of like the bottom, then the screen starts to shake and destroy. Well, you're watching the video, of course. Hmm. Valador um, looks amazing. Thanks, Kyle. Um, isn't fa I don't, um I think it was either you or Tristan. Um, is it your favorite area, or it might have been Tristan? That's Tristan's. Oh yeah, because um. Tristan wanted it to be on one of the top <laughs> top five areas when we first planned it. Um, you can probably see yeah. again um, the tool set was just dead st um, standard still or staying still. Right, I'm going to move away from the mansion now because I've done the very basic details. Um, I don't want to bore the stream to death with the very basic details, but um, I'm actually going to add a plant very quick. I remember adding this plant, so I'm just going to add it again. Um, I'm going to do a very bad um, crappy uh, jade vine that's it um, I forgot the name of it then there we go that'll be the jade vine <laughs> oh that means there shouldn't be any weeds then Let me delete that there we go so west ardy um we actually spoke about this possibly on the last stream. Oh yeah, we did about um, talk about this on the last stream. It was um, we were talking about the law on the last stream, so this was included our doing, where we talk about um, you know, already had the council and all that stuff. So at the moment, you can see on the tool set west Ardy. Well, obviously most of Ardy is sort of like blank, but to the west it's empty. So, due to our time frame, we're doing the 5th age year 20, and um, Ardy, it didn't have a king, so it had sort of like a, count, a council, which was just like running it. Um, There's a lot of problems with it, which I won't go into. You, you, you can always watch our last um, live stream, um, talking about the lore of it. But West Ardy didn't really exist. Um, that is because... In the year 20, Ardy, uh, Ardoink was very, very, so like, um, a very small-ish area. So, obviously, I'm not going to, I want to keep Ardy really iconic. So, like, if you're a player and you come into Ardy, you're going to see, like, everything where it should be in RuneScape. Um, I want to keep that aspect so it's not going to be completely custom, but to sort of, like, make the shrink slash um, reduce the size of Ardy, I think west ardy would just be sort of like a forest and you can sort of see like a, um, a deforestation going on um let's say um you know there's a lot of timber or well, not timber there's a lot of woodcutters cutting down timber and you see a lot of stumps and you know um we're gonna add the underground path so there's gonna be a cave at the end of this um in this forest area where is the estate houses? Where are they? There you are. So I need to add a shop here. Yeah, that would be a good shop. Turn that around. 
and this shop goes roughly here. So there you go. Push that up a bit more. There we go. Push that forward a bit more. And this one. There we go. Uh, there's another house to the s side. Um, well, it's not a house. It's a um, shop. Well, that one is a house, but this one is a shop. Uh, it's a, there's an entrance to the side there. So add that there. And God, already took me a long time to make last time I did it. So <laughs> this is going to be quite um, annoying to do. Um, are there going to be any skilling in this game? And um, would you want to talk about that, Cohen? I think I've been blabbing on for too much. <laughs> Uh, one second, hang on. Uh, are there going to be any skilling in this, in this game? Um, yeah. Definitely. Um, um, I'm actually starting to work on sailing now, um, and that'll be a big time, <laughs> uh, time-consuming skill, and should be fun. Um, you, so uh... far we've got, we've oh, got, so... um, woodcutting, crafting, Fire making, fishing, um, rune crafting. I think I said that already. <laughs> um, Tristan's working on farming and herbore. Uh, what else haven't I said? Um, Can you think of anything? There's not going to be skills. There's not. Uh, there's not going to be combat skills like attack, strength, defense, range, and mage and HP. Um, these all pretty much exist in Neverwinter Nights 2 but they aren't of skill so in, um, a quick demonstration would be RuneScape um, let's say uh, talking about pures so let's say there is a um, um, let's say I'm a strength pure so I'm going to be um, uh, let's say I'm an obby, uh, obby mule no I'm saying that wrong I'll be maul um, I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> God, my punctuation is horrible. Um, so let's say I'm an obby maul, pure. You know, um, you just get 60 strength, one attack, and all that stuff. Blah blah blah. Uh, that just means I'll hit high, but my accuracy isn't the best. In Never Nights 2, um, it's class based. So uh, let's say I'm a fighter. I would then be able to. Say if I'm level 1 fighter, um, if I get to level 2, my, pretty much my attack, strength, defense, and HP would increase on its own. So there's no point in having a skill for it if it's sort of like automatically done. Hopefully that makes yeah. sense. Uh, we actually have a video about this. I'll link it in a few minutes. Um, my train E99 asks, is this going to be based on 07 or RS three, um, I would. Uh, do you want... Um, yeah. Um, it's been asked. Um, it's been asked before. Uh, so I probably know the answer for it. Um, it's based on both. So before you go nuts and say like RuneScape three sucks, <laughs> unless you're a RuneScape three <laughs> fan, um, it the combat has the style of old school RuneScape. So Neverwinter no Nights two combat is very turn based, like um. I, I click a goblin and then I watch my character swing its sword, you know, um, taking its, uh, you know, swinging every so many seconds, blah, 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 like RuneScape. It's like um, a click and wait, if you could say it. So you're not spamming, your, well, you're not mashing your keyboard, um, doing abilities and all the other stuff. But um, the bit where I say RuneScape 3, we are basing the landscape from RuneScape 3. So if you look at our... Um, uh, if you look at uh, Alcarid, um, if you can find an Alcarid video, um, actually, yeah, there are a few Alcarid, Alcarid video, uh, videos. Um, you would see it's the RuneScape free Alcarid and not the, um, not the I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the words. Oh my god, not the, <laughs> not the um, old school Alcarid. God. Um, I'm getting so confused with my words, so apologies for that. 
but yeah, the lands, um, just um, a quick rundown, the landscape is RuneScape 3, the combat is old school. Um, there are a few abilities which I would say possibly s seem to be like RuneScape 3. Um, going back to what I was talking about, let's say I am a fighter, and um, there's an ability called Knockdown, so what this does is... Um, no, I can unlock it or I don't have to unlock it, um, it's purely based on if you want to or not. Um, but let's say I'm fighting you, Colton, in a, uh, okay. a dual arena. <laughs> you sound so confident. Um, Bring it on! <laughs> um, and I'm a fighter, you're a ranger, so obviously you're weak to me. Um, I'm going to use my knockdown ability on you. Or you can use the ability, it's called a feat in um, RuneScape. Uh, not RuneScape, it's called a feat in uh, No One's Notes 2. So I would use this ability on you. It would knock you to the ground, and then pretty much I would be attacking you while you're on the ground, and I'm like, I don't know, standing above you, attacking you pretty much. Uh, so it's pretty much as simple as that. Yeah. Essentially, yes. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the landscape is not all based on a uh, uh, modern day RuneScape. Oh yeah, I um, should have mentioned that. <laughs> oh, I can yeah, actually um, it, show you. Maybe eighty-five percent of it is. Um, a, a, a lot of the stuff had to be changed to a fit um with other uh, other uh, lore. An example is um uh Perfect. the barbarian. Uh, camp next to their arc and um oh yeah those areas. that's not there um because it's year 20 and um they invaded in year 45 or 145 or something so yeah that's actually um a small grove which uh do you want to show that or um, maybe we can find a picture to it <laughs> i want to answer foreskin lol's question uh so um, all right sure statement um, for it because is this game going to be like Terra um, a little bit with classes? Um, 100% Neverland's Notes 2 is definitely not like any MMO. So, um, you, and, you know, you can look at a lot of MMOs, um, World of Warcraft, um, Lord of the Rings Online, Elder Scrolls Online, um, uh, you know, Terra, I'm trying to think of other ones, uh, Rift. And all that stuff. You know, they got the very basic gener uh, generic MMO-esque um, theme to it, you know. You, you got the very crappy, um, I don't know, uh, crappy side quests and blah, blah, blah. And it's all, like, class-based and ability-based. But um, There Was Notes 2 has, I would say, a very... And it, uh, prob it's probably one of the reasons why I use it to... Well, we use it to sort of, like, replicate RuneScape is... The game has a lot of similarities to RuneScape. Um, RuneScape isn't like your typical MMO game like the ones I listed. And it's... It's a lot different. Um, when I say classes, you know, it's not like your typical classes. Um, uh, so World of Warcraft, for example. Um, it's very different. Um, let's say RuneScape had classes. It's pretty much just like that. You know, you can still hybrid... Um, in Never Tonight's 2, like in RuneScape, so, um, let's say I'm a fighter, you know, I can be a mage as well, uh, or it's called a wizard, but I can be a wizard, you know, that stuff, and sorry for the bright yellow thing, but, um, going to what Colton just said, um, Tavoli is something I built, and it is the old, the, uh, old school Tavoli, I don't know, put the trees on, so this is the old school uh, you got the Lady of the Lake, you got the Witch's House, um, the Ritual, um, you got the houses. Um, I added trees inside, uh, uh, trust me, the trees look, well, the top view of like the trees and all that look absolutely terrible from above. And in the tool set, you know, the tool set isn't the best graphics like in, in the actual game. Um, but you can always see the Tour of Tavoli, but yeah, uh, this is the old school Tavoli for example. Um, get rid of the trees, and you are followed uh, followed on the background. Uh, let me close Tavli so I can show you the um, Burthorpe, which I still need to change the name for it because it's still Burthrope. Um, 
but yeah, like you said, um, eight, about eighty-five percent, um, is, I'd say, RuneScape free. Then you got like the custom places. Um, the only reason Tavli is the old school one is because I don't like the, um, I don't like the, the new version of Tavli. And it's the new version of Tavoli, you know, it's a, um, Tavoli is, you know, druid place, um, you could say maybe a, na a natural spiritual place because it's, um, in in summoning influenced. Obviously we haven't got summoning yet. <laughs> right, I need to change the name quick, Burforp. Burforp, there we go. Right, so this is Burforp. Um, which Do you guys group? have any character models yet? Um, yes. Yep. Um, you can actually play it um, now. Um, those were initially part of Neverwinter Nights too. So yeah. Um, Definitely. I would say um, maybe um, just talk about the general sort of like what the project actually is. So um, sure. For it. Let's um, hopefully everybody is familiar with Minecraft. So um, you, you know, you log on Minecraft and you do. I don't know I'm trying to think. Uh, you log on Minecraft. You log on. Let's say it's, you do a multiplayer. You log on somebody's server, and you see their creation. I don't know. Let's say this server has a castle with a town in it, with I don't know the villagers walking around. So it's very simple as that, you know, your character moves, it's got the basic Minecraft animations, and well not animations, but, um, uh, you know, the models and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. And we are literally just the same as Minecraft, um, though not, that sounds actually bad, but, um, we are like how Minecraft works, if that makes sense. So you log on to Never Tonight's 2 you log on to our server and you know all the animations are there so we haven't had to create you know all the animations for, to make your character move um, we aren't a standalone game so because we're using Never Tonight's 2 a lot of this stuff is already done so character models for example you know the models are already there Never Tonight's 2 is you know, an actual sort of like game itself it's got a, ma a campaign um, it's got two DLCs which have two campaigns and it's literally just all of that so all we're doing is just making a server in it you know using all their stuff and that hopefully that answers your question <laughs> if it doesn't then um, ask it again <laughs> all right back on to Ardy so I need to create the inn which is the poison arrow inn which is roughly here. Uh, let me look. What's but um, as Colin said, you can, um, you can play. I'm gonna try find a gameplay video while I do this in the meantime. But um, to give you sort of like um, a view or just just show you what sort of what you can do in the game at the moment in well the project should I say. Um, yeah, I played the project. For I'd say actually uh, a few days to be honest, I got a few day gameplays on it. Um, it was really fun to play. And that's being well, that's funny because considering I'm the um, developer slash creator, um, you would assume that playing something I've been working on for six years would be boring as hell. <laughs> um, I can show you my first gameplay one. So there you go. Um, that was the Goblin Whisperer. <laughs> Um, I did the Goblin Diplomacy quest, so, you know, we got, like, a lot of quests in there, um, I'd say about 70% of free-to-play quests, so you got the ba you got the very basics from, um, uh, Tutorial Island, to uh, Cook's Assistance, to some very, possibly, hard quests, such as, um, Demon Slayer, Vampire Slayer, Prince Ali Rescue, and all that stuff, um, I need to add the bank but what I'm actually going to do now is update the uh, terrain slash textures so I can get a path going on to um, link all these houses up so let me go up three or three 
to go on four and four. Um, the tool set, just uh, in case anybody's got this question on their mind, um, the tool set is relatively easy to use once you get a, um, so like once you know how to use it. Um, I used Never Tonight's one for the project to begin with, and it was very simple and very easy to use. Uh, Never to uh, Never to Notes two, I found to be very complex when I first sort of like used it, but now it's easy to use and yeah, pretty much just that easy to use. So I need to link all these paths up. There we go, and they go upwards into the market. Make that path a little bit bigger. There we go. And they go down into the pub over here. Maybe move that pub a little bit more over. Move up. Uh, no, it goes on the. Yeah, there we go. That goes right there. Got a notification. Um, so. Ardy is. Um, I don't want to talk about the video I'm doing tomorrow because obviously it will sort of possibly ruin the uh, video. But um, Ardy is, let's just say it's the area to complete. And once Ardy is complete, we can carry on working. And, um, let's just say we have, n I'd say, 90% of exterior. So when I mean exterior, um. We haven't built the inside of the, like the houses, um, any dungeons or caves. You now I've got um, only one dungeon so far, and that's the Relica Slayer dungeon, which is obviously by Relica. But um, that's only it for now for the sort of like areas, or like, exteriors, I mean. And we have the north, well, like I just said, the everything north of Ardy. Um, so I need to build the bank now, but before I do, I'm gonna. Building house over here. Um, these houses are very odd. They have, I would say, what looks to be. Um, I'm not quite sure what the house's walls are made of. Of it looks like MDF, but then, what would MDF be in? Thatch. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm. Which houses are you talking about? Ones in odd. I, I once it has thatch roofs, but it's. It's the same walls as these, so maybe just plaster and you know mortar and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to get this house where it should be, and it should be south of the mansion and here. But I'm trying to get the same size house. But yeah, I'd say that's roughly the same size for the house. And it goes turn it around. Put the edges of the trees on. And it goes there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, and it goes. The path goes down and across. There we go. Right, the bank. The bloody bank. Um, the bank goes over here. It's, the bank isn't really, <laughs> I was about to say the bank isn't really used, um, but when, as soon as I said that, there are three people in this bank at the moment in RuneScape. But yeah, there's, um, this bank is, I would say, not really used, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm being ironic from saying that now. But, um, God, these structures are so horrible to do, because they're all oddly shaped buildings. Obviously we're using Never Tonight's two default buildings and properties and um, assets. You could call them assets if you want to. Um, we All we do is try to make buildings look the same. Let's on the house. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I would actually use this. Um, so sort of going back on topic of Let's say microtransactions. Um, I'd say donations could possibly include into that topic. So, um, would you want to talk about donations and 
although we aren't asking for donations in this um, stream, we're just talking about them, so don't shoot your guns. Do not yet. donate us. <laughs> um, or do not donate to us. Would you want to start the discussion off on donations? Um, what would you say donations do? Because we've, ha uh, we've had donations in the past, and uh, we've saved <laughs> them for all that stuff, blah, 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 servers. Uh, would you want to just sort of talk about how donations could help us and what they would do? And then possibly explain right, so, why we need them or yeah. that. Yep. Yeah, um, so um, on other website we have a section called Get Exclusive Content. And uh, the first thing that uh, you see there is um, support us on Patreon. Um, and what Patreon is used for is to fund uh, the multiplayer servers. And that's the only thing it's used for. If we have excess funding, then um, we'll either donate it t to charity or pay the people who um, have helped us uh, work on stuff. Um, so um, uh, the second section is um, become a sponsor. Um, sponsorship is a little bit different than donations, and I think maybe that's for another video. Um, um that's up to you. Um, I, I would say we spoke about, um, sponsorship, um, last stream. Um, it was one of the talks, um, sponsorships and player-owned ships, I believe it was. Um, so if you want to sort of learn about, um, sponsorships or interested in you can watch those videos yeah. if you want to <laughs> all um, right uh we got another yep comment um, um for the first question um as for skill oh, i got a question as for how the skills would work in coordination with skill boss so um let's just take a look at runescape for example in their skill so um let's say wood cutting you level one wood cutting and obviously you would say um uh, you would, if you cut a tree, you get woodcutting XP. So you just get woodcutting XP, no other XP. And mm -hmm. then in Mario RS, well, not Mario RS, um, Never's Notes 2 skills are. Um, I it's I'm gonna say it's like Skyrim. So if you have played Skyrim, you should understand how it works. But um, let's say woodcutting. So I'm le I'm a level one fighter. And I'm cutting down some tree stumps. Um, tree stumps are an alternative to like cutting down trees because cutting down trees would be a lot of performance in um, Never Tonight's 2, especially with how old the game is and so sort of like um, what spawning and stuff like that. Oh yeah, definitely that. Um, it was yeah. in Never Tonight's 1, but to highlight a tree, it covered like half the screen. So. Um, I had it for a for short duration, eh, duration, oh God, I cannot speak, uh, for a short time in Lumbridge. Um, you would try to run down Lumbridge, uh, you know, past the river and cow pens, and your cursor would constantly be on the trees because they were just so huge, it would honestly just cover the entire screen. Um, the click radius, I mean. Um, um, so yeah, um, skills at xp and um off of xp you get um like perk point type things um I that call them skill points you can actually yeah no, not skill, skill points, points. Um... or points to <laughs> put in your skills um, I, um i'm gonna cut down a character creation so first off you got obviously your design of a character and then you got the attributes so the attributes are your um you know, in Never to Notes 2, it's like dexterity, strength, constitution, intelligence. Um, a simple version of this is attack, strength, defense, and HP, and all that stuff. Um, so that's your attributes. And then you have feet points. Um, feet points are sort of like they are bonuses to your character. So let's say I'm a tank, or I want to sort of like be a tank, and you know, um, wear all this heavy metal armor and um, a shield well we just use a shield not like a two-hander or whatever and my hp is high 
so I'm not focusing on damage. Um, I would choose a feat called Toughness. So what this feat does is it gives me more HP every time I level up. And um, it's, it's very passive effects like that. And... Uh, sorry, I was reading the um, question. <laughs> we so actually have that. Um, we have a bonfire system um, that um, a player uh, lights a fire and other players can use it. Um, I, I did that before wood cutting was even done, um, mainly yeah. as sort of an experiment. And I think we're going to add that to the final game as well. Um, uh, let's see. But, um, carrying on with your question, um, so, say, um, I was, um, on about woodcutting, I believe, so, um, you got the woodcutting and, yeah, oh, I was, um, talking about feet, sorry, um, you got the feet, so, let's say, toughness increases your HP every time you level, um, uh, it's very passive effects, stuff like that. And then you got your skill points. So skills, you put in obviously skills. So let's say I'm level 1 and I have this progress bar. So if I kill a monster, it adds XP to his progress bar. If I complete a quest, it adds the XP from the quest to his progress bar. If I cut down some tree stumps, if I fish some fish, and if I smith some bars... All that XP is going to go to this one progress bar. And once that progress bar, you know, fills up and I get the level and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. I will then um, choose my skill points into skill. So if you could, if you are really sort of like confused still, you can try and watch one of my um, gameplay videos where I level up. I'm not quite sure which episode I leveled up, but you can uh, just try catch um, it in any video but um you will see you'll understand so with my solo gameplay account i was a fighter so obviously i was using um uh, metal armor and you know like bronze and steel and all that stuff and i wanted to smith this stuff myself so i got my smithing and mining up i hopefully that answers your question um if not, I um I typed out an explanation. Um, uh, and do you guys need a graphic, a designer for a website, banner, advertising, etc.? Um, well, once we get f um uh funding and stuff, we can pay people, um, or you specifically. But uh, uh, let me show you our website we've designed so far. Also, if you're welcome so you can... to, you know, um, if you if you want to um, help with any graphic design, we've been contacted a lot before. So like people are like, hey, I want to make a website for you. And they they'd make this website, then the next day we'd never hear from them again because, God knows the reason. <laughs> um, they just yeah, people love to contact us, then not contact us pretty much. And yep, it can get very tedious and annoying. So. You know, if you really want to be a graphic design and sort of like make banners, and it will, obviously we'd appreciate it, but try staying in contact once you've done it. <laughs> um, that's probably yeah. the nicest way. Um, I'm not on about just um, I'm not on about you, um, Saudus. Um, with the Spark Mac thing, um, uh, this was um, brought up on the last stream, I believe. Um, somebody asked, you know, why don't you send this into Spark Mac slash Chris Archie? Um, I sent a clip into Chris Archie two years ago, it's where we got about, I don't know, 500, I'd say 400 subs from, and ever since that, you know, we've been climbing up slowly. Um, I sent a clip to Spark Mac because somebody kept asking me to do it. Uh, this was re recently, so maybe like at the end of August, and it never got featured, so, you know, um, I'm not going to completely fill his inbox with, um, uh, you know, clips from Molly RS and all that stuff. <laughs> so once we've done it, it's well. Once it's been featured, it's been featured. So there's no point in trying to feature it again. Um, if people really want to sort of like, um, well, it, people will find us eventually, pretty much. And when the server's up, I imagine you know we'd get a lot of um, a lot of pu uh, publicity. 
I'll take a look at uh, the website real quick. Yeah, I'll take a look yeah, at it too. Good. That looks nice. Did you create the um, banner for it, I assume? I know the stream's delay, so I'm not going to um, stay quiet until I expect a um, response. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to be buildings south of the church now, so this is the, uh, the general store and just a house. So these are again rural houses, so I'm going to go on the rural, oops, cannot spell rural. Uh, let's see where they are. So this one is directly, Colin, did we agree to, or uh, did we agree or disagree to add the, um, add the zoo? Will we go um, we agreed to add it. Um, okay. Yeah. So the zoo will be there. Yay, penguins. <laughs> oh my we God. have to build uh, their player model because... Yeah. Um, not player model, but yeah. We have to make them because Never Winter Nights 2 does not have a penguin. I think the zoo... I think I'll make the zoo. Like, all the... Um, everything there, but the cages would be empty. I know we could add like a sign in game saying, you know, coming soon. Because <laughs> um, I remember the monkeys I had last time, it's like these half man, half apes, and they were white with bald heads, and they looked hideous. And they were supposed to be monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Um, going back to uh, the original topic after so many others. Uh, <laughs> um donations microtransactions etc um sponsorship and so on um so yeah um uh one second uh email us no we want to add you on skype <laughs> all right yeah we'll also add you on skype okay so uh the original topic um so yeah um ideas for what we could add for um people who donate um there's already a section in um the uh the great hall oh yeah the hall of fame the yeah the, the lobby <laughs> well it's um it's where a cool players thing, log in it is the lobby yeah uh you designed it so um uh, uh, uh you want to oh, explain yeah, sure. it sure um so i would show you it now but it's on a different file um it takes um, quite a while to sort of like switch files and I've got a picture I can post oh yeah uh, that would be great but especially because I'm on stream it would screw up the stream but um it's so you're in this like in it's indoors I mean it's like a cathedral you could say um it's very good looking it's very elegant it's actually a mod so I need to add the um, creators so like um, a credit um, I need to actually look on the um, terms of use because as a some of these mods you know people are like uh you can use it for free go nuts do what you want or then there's some like saying oh can you please like put my name in this in that so it's just a very simple of um just do that but anyways it's um it's like a cathedral and you can add well um, it's a starting area there's i would say whoops switch screens by mistake and it's there's these statues which go around the sort of like the area so for example um there's 10 statues in total hopefully um can get a picture um out soon so yep even i can one second a picture um so there's like these pillars and obviously the pillars are empty at the moment because um if there's any donations you can your well there's a statue added in your sort of like honor slash name and when these are added you can um sort of ask what sort of type of statue blah 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 and then we'll add it with your name so there we currently have one statue for somebody who donated 10 pounds which is roughly 16 dollars and he's actually a good um close friend of mine called tom so maybe that's cheating because he's a friend of mine but anyways um he donated anyway so this statue was added let me just check the picture myself so I can remind myself. So, 
Um, so yeah, um, the light you can see on the right is um, the um, statue of Tom. Um, in the middle, um, I'm not quite sure why yours is slightly different, Colton. Um, because you can see in the middle, you can see one of the statues floating, but um, there's a larger platform in the middle. But for some reason, it's invisible on yours, but it isn't on mine. But yeah, the um, the circle in the middle uh, in the middle is the developers. So on the one floating, and then you got like um, I don't know Colton, um, co-developer. You got Tristan, the programmer, animation. And, you know, we got a few um, QA testers and all that stuff. And even modeling now because Tristan's helping with modeling, well, doing modeling, should I say? Not um, helping it, but doing it. But yeah, uh, so if anybody at we you know we don't really ask for donations i'd say um if you want to donate you can donate we'd accept it and uh, there's also a lot of other benefits we have especially on our patreon um a patreon is just something we use so people if people want to donate we can just you know show them what well, send them that way or you know they can just send us money directly but like i said we don't ask for donations but we have it there for people who um available but um if Especially on our Patreon, but I assume we could do this anyway, so say if, um, uh, let's say you're a fan, Colton, and, uh, you donate, I don't know, say a large amount of, like, $40, I would then go to you and say, okay, because you donated this large amount, um, I want to say, so do a thank you, um, for something like $40, you know, I would never expect anything to be, um, anything higher, but, um, for forty dollars, I would make a small custom quest, which is based on your sort of like thought. So, let's say, uh, uh, let's say you want to be a a white knight, and this custom quest, uh, this custom quest involves you trying to find, um, I don't know, you trying to find a legendary sword. Obviously, um, we can't make anything too game-breaking, so we can't say you're this demon and you're trying to destroy a city. <laughs> so it would have to be very realistic slash non-game-breaking. Yeah. One of the things we had talked about, um, this is a little bit off-topic, was um, uh, allowing um, players to complete a series of quests that were temporary. So, um, those players who did it would be the heroes of, um, whatever city for oh, yeah. an entire year, um, which I don't know if any games do that. Like, it's not fair at all. It's sort of like, um, <laughs> first come like, first um, serve, I would say. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we, we could do something like that where um the top monthly um um subscribers or uh, patrons or something like that uh, as an example um so so they could get a cape or some um suit of armor that looks nice but has no stats um a pet or something yeah. uh, as an example yeah <laughs> Um, we oh I'd say we wouldn't want to exclude. So say like you said you could you know be the hero or something. But, um, I would like that to be achievable in game possibly. Um, mm -hmm. not. I'm always against something of being exclusive just to sort of like outside money. So um, um, no, at the time you know Guild Wars in well especially Guild Wars Two came out. Um, but when Guild Wars 1 was, like, there, um, all my friends tried to encourage me to play it, but I was a fanatic of RuneScape at the time. Um, the only other MMO I, have tried, I. Uh, tried was, um, World of Warcraft. At the moment I play Elder Scrolls Online more than RuneScape. But, um, RuneScape at the time, I just, my time was only dedicated to that, and it's the only time I had available for it. <laughs> Have you played it, Colin? I d didn't hear your response. Nope. Not yet. I might play Guild Wars 2, but if you say 
Guild Wars 1 is good, then I might play it. I'm not a fan of um, MMOs right now, um, even though that's what I'm building. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say with... Uh, I'd say RuneScape is a very different MMO, in my opinion. Um, but it just feels, you know, um, the quests are good. I know um, a lot of people hate quests in RuneScape, but the quests aren't, you know, a gather and fetch. They've got a great story behind them. Um, they have a meaning. So I play Elder Scrolls Online, like I just said. Um, there's a lot of fetching quests, so like, kill this um, dude for blah, blah, blah. Although, Elder Scrolls Online doesn't really do it as much as World of Warcraft, for example. World of Warcraft was completely like, um, kill five of these monsters and then come back to me to complete the quest. Or it was like, gather five of these herbs in the, um, in the wilderness and then come back to me. It was highly that, which was very annoying and tedious. Especially because it did it for a high amount of... Um, level so like the quests were pretty much the same from level 10 to 70 and i got to level 77 for quitting <laughs> but um yeah um, speaking of quests um uh crandor again big yeah. topic right <laughs> that was um, one of um favorite areas. was when we sort of um innovated on like a uh, quest and stuff like that um as an example, um, there's uh, the Merchant's Quest, which lets you buy stores, um, in, in, invest in stocks, and um, trade and stuff like that. Um, we want to add that to uh, the multiplayer version where um, yeah. players can um, buy and run stores, um, m m make sure stuff is stocked up, um, I guess with um, sailing, that could be a two-part skill because you need somebody who has a high sailing level to transport goods yeah. and stuff like that. Um, Merchant. I would say this, you know, um, it's uh, it, has, it hasn't been asked recently, but um, it's something which has been asked before. It's like people have always asked, um, you know, why don't you just build your own game? But it's like... Uh, is we don't want to build our own game, but um, we want to sort of like replicate RuneScape. But we don't want to one hundred percent replicate RuneScape because in the end, there's only like four of us working on it. So why not just play the actual game where it's had like fourteen years of experience in like this multi-million company running it? Or no, they don't make mm -hmm. the best decisions all the time. But you know, um, we want to get to the point where we can say, yeah, you can play RuneScape in our project, but you can do sailing as well. You can um, create your own guild. You can own a house in Varrock. And um, you can do all this stuff pretty much. And that's something which I would like to have at one point. Which it'll take time getting there. But we will get there. <laughs> yeah. If you c come to this game um, expecting a RuneScape experience. Aside from storyline and quests and stuff like that, I would say it's, it, it's as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be fun if you're a really pro um, RuneScape guy. Uh, but it's certainly a good experience. It's very exciting when you first play it. Um, <laughs> it it's so expansive. Like um, Ru RuneScape feels so close in uh, because. You can run from um, one edge of the map t to the other in like ten minutes. Um, yeah, they definitely and this, kill that with, um, it takes a really long time. Teleporting as well with load Yeah, yep. Uh, yeah, we don't have uh, a load so system that's accessible to all players. It's a rune crafting and magic thing. So if you have a low um, magic level or a low rune crafting level, um, you can't teleport um exactly oh, yeah. like um uh runescape used to be yeah in runescape fun. <laughs> low stones, you can teleport everywhere once you unlock it for free and in here it requires so like if i wanted to teleport to the varrock lodestone 
I would need the runes. Um, the runes are more. You would need more quantity of runes. Um, you would need level five rune crafting as well. Um, like I said earlier, with the skills, um, you know, there isn't skills like attack, strength, defense, magic, and range and HP because those already exist in the game itself. But um, the, the skilling side to magic we've added into rune crafting. So enchanting, teleporting is part of rune crafting. Um, but um, I'm trying to find the picture, um, but yeah, like you would talk about, like you know, it can be fun. Um, a fan who is now part of our team, um, a fan got Nemo's Nights two, and we went on Colton's server, which when it was slightly unstable, and I toured him around the uh, free to play lands. And it was fun to see his reaction. I'm trying to find the picture now, so bear with me. Uh, where is it? It should be soon, because that's for wilderness pictures. There it is. We I spent six hours in-game with this fan. And um, there we, there's the link. Um, we got to Karamanjar when I took that picture. Um, that was Karamanjar Volcano, but yeah. We spent six hours just touring around the entire project, and he loved every second of it. <laughs> um, he also left a comment in the chat, which was, um, Let it be known that on the day, the tyranny of chickens came to an end. Yeah, because we tried to box chickens. <laughs> uh, which was um, a very... They're really strong. <laughs> yeah. They will kill you. But yeah, it was um, very fun just to see, you know... I'm the creator and developer, so if I say, oh, it's really fun, you know, you can't exactly take my word for it because I uh, make it. But when <laughs> you go around with a fan for six hours and his opinions are like, it's great, then that's a really great satisfaction for me to sort of like realize that because um, I, I've well, we've been working on it for six years and then it would be a really devastation feeling to, you know, everybody's opinion always. The areas are really crap, the combat's crap, but at the moment I'd say the um, reactions to it are really, uh, not really good, but um, good in positive. There's not a lot of um, feedback we can get at the moment because the server's not up, but um, yeah. So I need to yeah. go over to the area over here, and um, I'm going to end the stream once I've added the fencing to this area. Um, we normally run for streams for an hour, so... Um, that's probably wondering why it's finishing. It's we try, we try to keep it for one hour, so it's entertaining. And we, if we ever run out of something to say, we try to aim it to run out on the one hour. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is RD so far. The I'll I'll probably work more on it off camera. Um, we got uh, a question. How far are you all into the beta? Um, free to play lands are all done. Um, save uh, like one or two small places, like um, insides of oh yeah, um, a couple houses that we may have missed. But yeah, um, me um, members areas in Kandarin is about a little over halfway done, right? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be releasing a video tomorrow um, showcasing every single member's area we have. So, um, like I said, um, you can see them on the side, but the video tomorrow is going to be showcasing them all in-game and so sort of like the, the look of them, pretty much. Um, yep. Uh, the desert is nearly complete um, landscape-wise. Oh, yeah, um, landscape-wise. Uh, we haven't started Mortainia yet. Um, we want to have someone else sort of work on that um because i'll be busy with sailing for the next month or two uh you'll be busy with um i don't know quests or whatever the yeah. hell you do I keep the servers up by then, what so do I you do i do yeah so jack of trades <laughs> yep pretty much um we'll be adding um uh new like um uh plants i guess and potions for herbal. Oh, yeah. That's all in, I'd say, beta. But um, I would say the playable beta, um, 
you can literally just spend hours and hours into it, even days. Um, probably, yeah. One day, um, I spent about four hours playing it, and you probably think of four hours for a game, you know, that's nothing. But when you create the game and you know every single thing in the game, like I know the best training spots, which probably seem obvious, you know, you could go like goblins and skeletons and all that, but I know exactly where to go. Um, I know exactly what to do in the quests, um, so probably, that's probably thinking boring, but it was really fun for me, but for the playable beta, you can literally do every single skill, um, the highest armour and weapons you can get is rune, so it would be really fun to see, I've actually, <laughs> um, the highest armour I've got is mithril, and my goals on, um, the one well, my single player account is to get treasure trail items so i added treasure trail items in one of the patches um to um um you know trying to think now um, that question threw me off um uh, uh, my direct thought of train um direction slash whatever um but yeah um i added treasure trails as a sort of like a small gimmick and sort of like um uh, it's a reward over time so I'm trying to think of a word for it. So, um, a typical MMO, you know, you grind, grind, grind to kill goblins for, like, hours or cows for hours. And let's say you get a clue scroll. It's going to take time from, you know, grinding and then you could do something um, fun. It's going to literally just break the grind. Um, to donate, you can, um, you can either just send it. I straight. sent a link in chat. Oh, yeah, you can, um. Thank you. You can, um, would you do it, um. You can do Patreon if you want to, um, or then you can, you know, you can really just uh, send money to our PayPal. Um, honestly, you don't have to donate, but if you really do want to, then of course we would accept it. And also, like um, we said earlier, um, if you do donate, you get the statue in the Hall of Fame. Um, depending how much you do donate, um, we can build a quest in your honor. And the quest statue is statue as well in the Hall of Fame stuff. Um, yep. Um, also, um, we do a lot of gimmicky things as well. Um, if I, I can actually show you now in the, um, uh, tool set. Um, every now and then, especially on Facebook, we do a lot of exclusive stuff on Facebook, so remember to like there. But, um, in one video, I asked somebody to guess what the area was, and they guessed the Legends Guild, and they got it correct. So, I added a statue in their honor so if i check the stat i believe it's this this one um no it's not that one it's one of these statues yes this one so the youtuber's name was andrew m so if um well when somebody goes into the legends guild they will see one of the statues called andrew m and the examine is a warrior with a keen eye to detail so we had fun gimmicky stuff like that um another time was somebody guessed what was happening in Edgeville and it was a zombie invasion and they now have an NPC of themselves in Edgeville which is you know really fun so um, we do a lot of stuff like that so we like to sort of like include the community into it so you know if you donated uh, such amounts like we said um, uh, I will send you my PayPal email now um, if you, um, I, I really, um, I really, what do you call it? Um, I really don't like for some most subjects with um, donation. So, I really do not want to give off the donation of. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to give off the impression of um, asking for donations. But um, yeah, we only have it there for people who do say they want to. Um, but yeah, all the donations go to the server and all that. So um, that's pretty much what I've got to say. And Defences are complete. Um, I'm just looking around. Oh, I can add this area to the south of the bank. Um, let me just add this house. Not the house, rural house. Actually, it is a um, it's a very different house. I know what I'll do. I'll get this. Then I'll modify this area building here. So let me get that. Let me group it up again. So this is the the RPDT. Um, I forget the exact name for it. I think it's like um, 
trading or something. Um, there should be a sign in here or something. But anyways, there's like this um, delivery company in Ardy. So I'm just adding their sort of like warehouse slash whatever building. So that goes there. So I'm going to ungroup that. I'm going to delete that. And extend it again. Um, one more topic uh, before we end uh, the stream here. Um, uh, we didn't, we forgot to talk about it in the previous stream about sponsorship and stuff. And, um, we wanted to, on Fridays, make a, a, uh, a video sponsoring, um, people who subscribe to our sponsorship program type thing, uh, we, which is currently in uh, the works right now. Um, so we want to make a poll. Uh, we'll probably have that out with uh, the next video or the next one I'm working on, which is about sailing. Yeah. Um, so if you guys have any interest in that, uh, like our Facebook page, and I'll post a poll there pretty soon. Um, so a quick rundown on the sponsorship. Um, we got contacted by a network... Um... There are new networks. Two networks, actually, right? Um, the one net, the um, the one network was a YouTube thing, so like they would um, um, you know, deal with ads on our content and all that stuff. The one we have at the moment is very old and it seems very unprofessional and uh, very. Is, is, I think they've slightly gone inactive. I would say. Um, I'm not quite uh, sure I what think... your deal is going on there. <laughs> We've made like twenty bucks since two thousand and eleven, and we like, haven't seen any of that at all. So, pretty sure it's fake. We make like one but, um, dollar a month. <laughs> yeah, essentially, um, they were the first network who contacted us back when we had a couple hundred subs when oh, I yeah. first joined, um, and they they said they would help us gain subs and stuff. They haven't really done anything, um. All, all the subs we've gained since um, I joined, we've worked work. really hard. <laughs> yeah. We've spent several months trying to get this many subs. It, it's a lot of, it, it's a lot of work. So um, we sent them a, um, a request to uh, detach. So we're still waiting for approval. And if they don't um, send us anything back in 30 days, it automatically... Uh, <laughs> detaches um i sent a request to um maker studios um and hopefully we'll hear something back soon uh, maker studios is the guys uh the big big youtube yeah, ones so ones. like um yeah fine bros stuff like that because um, we we really want to show people all the cool stuff we make <laughs> but for this um the sponsorship network um the new one um, they contacted us recently, and it's like, um, they want us to, um, uh, sort of like join their network, which we did, well, slightly did, um, like I said, they're new, so we need to get, like, all the details from them and, like, how stuff works, but, um, an example would be, uh, let's say if there's a gaming company which wants their game to be sponsored by a YouTube channel, um, we would sort of, like, um, review it, but obviously this isn't Molly RS, so... Our fans were probably thinking, you know, have we quit Molly RS? Um, Sellouts. Yeah, yeah that kind of stuff. Um, it's for you guys. Yeah. Um, like um, Corton said, we need to sort of go more into detail on this, but um, that's just like a small um, heads up. But and obviously, we don't know if we're going to do it yet or um, how it's going to work. But yeah. if it were to happen, um, all the money would just go into the servers. Um, maybe even give it back you know i would like i would honestly love to do um never nights 2 games giveaway because i don't like the fact that you need to buy never nights 2 to play the project but unfortunately that's just how it is um i would say it's a good investment because once you buy never nights 2 you never have to spend um any money again on the um the game slash project because all our content's for free <laughs> yep it will always be for free we will never try to sell you guys stuff that you guys don't need um, or can get uh that goes with free. the crandall yeah. dlc again it's like um yep 
we want Grandor to be this expansion, so Grandor is like a medium to high level island. Obviously it's the Grandor Island, but of course um, due to our time frame, um, Crandall is a trading city, so there's a lot of docking, there's a lot of ports and all that stuff, um, merchants and high level stuff. Mercenaries and pirates yeah. and stuff. And um, like you just said, mercenaries and pirates, um, we plan to, you can get like a job there and you know you could be a fisher, a, mer a fisherman, um, a merchant, you could be, join the mercenaries. If you're like, if you're role playing as some like evil dude, you could be like um, an assassin, um, a thief. Um, the you mage. Can even go to jail. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you can. Um, what was the other one? Um, a pirate. That was it. You can even be a pirate. And, you know, like um, in so like as as Colton's working with the sailing. You know, you can um, raid. I don't know, raid other people's ships and all that stuff. Um, but of course, we um, want this to be sort of like an expansion. So um, let's say the game with servers out. And then we'll release this, expan uh, this expansion, and of course it will be free. So you, all you would have to do is download it, and you get this, like, definitely, I would honestly, and on my heart, say, you could honestly spend about 200 hours onto the expansion we have planned for it. And of course it's going to be yeah. free. <laughs> it, it's huge. It is ginormous. Um, so I'm going to say I'm going to wrap up the stream there. Um... Ardy, it's very minor detail done, you know, I added the bit here, the bit there, all the fencing, uh, the mansion. Although it took me an hour, <laughs> it took me um, a lot of work, but um, with me talking and trying to build, um, it slowed down my productivity. But um, I'm going to work, um, as you can see, you're probably thinking, you know, it looks really crap, um, the roads are really dodgy, but um, there's a lot of detail we have to do to get it really perfect, but... Um, you know, a quick example would be look at the detail on the south bit and then look at the detail on the north bit. Um, well, not this bit because I didn't do much detail here, but, um, you know, stuff around the farm bit there is a lot more detail. Especially in a rural area here, there's a lot more detail to, like, the texture and the grass. Whereas at the moment it's all, like, one texture and one colour. Um, but yeah, that is RD so far. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to work on it off camera um probably get like all this done um maybe get like all the zoo bit and all the um south side of this and possibly get all the texture not textures all, all the layouts and like the um the carnelian mansion is there and then i'll stream it again and on that stream i'll be doing completely all the detailing like um you know trees and flowers and grass and all that stuff so um thank you all for watching um it's been again a very entertaining stream Especially for me, um, all the questions have been great. What I need to do is actually save in case it crashes. Um, any last questions or anything, Colton? Nope, I just want to thank um, Dallas Harrison for his donation and um, everyone else for um, watching. Uh, we gained uh, three subs and three likes on Facebook, so thanks. Yep, thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed. Peace.